Dustin Watkins of Middletown will spend three years in prison for dragging a mother of three to death. Christina Purden Dunn died this past June after she tried to break up a drug deal between her husband and Watkins. Covering Butler Warren News now, 9 News reporter Jay Warren is live in the Butler Warren Newsroom with what happened, Jay? Well, Carol, it was June 17th when Christina Dunn had, saw, had seen rather her husband engaged in this drug deal. She came out, knocked the prescription pills out of his hand that he had just purchased from Watkins, and then reached into the SUV to try to get the money back. Back, that money was scheduled for rent. Now, when she put her arm inside the SUV, it got entangled in a seatbelt. Watkins then took off. She was running alongside, pleading for him to stop, but he did not. Now, today, Watkins stood in front of Judge James Spaeth this afternoon. He denied dragging Dunn and said that the door of the SUV hit her instead, and she fell down. He said he didn't run her over, but offered no explanation of how the young mother of three had her head crushed. This is a photo of Dunn and her youngest child, Brandon, who, according to his grandmother, still thinks mommy is in the hospital. Today, Watkins apologized, and Dunn's mother talked about going through the holidays without her daughter. I'd like to say that I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. And it's definitely not my intention to go over there for something like this to come out of it. So. She was innocent, and unfortunately, we're going through the holidays without her. And it's a rough time. But we're going to get through this one day at a time. I'm just glad somewhat justice is being done and they're not walking the streets to hurt anyone else. Now, Watkins was sentenced to 36 months and will have his driver's license suspended for three years once he gets out. In the meantime, his girlfriend, Maria Mesquez, she pleaded guilty to her role today, will be sentenced in the obstruction of the investigation next Tuesday. Jay Warren, 9 News, the Butler Warren Newsroom. Thanks, Jay.